Okay, <laughs> see you later, pal. Okay, that was not too informative. Okay, let's head in the direction I have not I yet. I got so much from that message. Yeah, but, but, but we didn't say anything. <laughs> Wait, am I leaving now? Lame. Yeah, that's the way out, I think. Well, I don't know. Okay. Let's use a little thing called... Freezing? Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. When we have returned, I'm gonna check the lower area, because I don't know if I've actually gone through the lower area very much. Eclair. Great. RJ got in another pair of choppers to eat up all our food. Well, as long as you don't give me any crap about how I prepare your grub, I guess you'll be okay. So tell me, what do you think of cave fungus and watery mushroom sauce? I'd rather eat a Brahmin turd sandwich with no bread. You got that right. After our regular meals, I bet some of us would give that a shot. If we had a Brahmin down here, that is. Listen, my name's Eclair. Don't laugh. And I'm in charge of the food down here. We haven't got much, but I do what I can to spice it up. If you need a meal down here, just talk with me. You'll hardly even know you're eating cave mold. Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream. That's what you're asking. Yeah. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I'll try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you. And not in a good way. Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, hey, we'll just scoop it off the walls and scoop okay. it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad Ew. if we get used to it. And we don't have much choice. At least it's filling. So we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible. It's pretty hard to find, and a year doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves! Ugh. Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever! It doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters dumped the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. I don't know how true that is, but I know sometimes the scab team comes back with this strange meat. It tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. Okay. Sure. Later. Ooh. It's not good fungus. Water. Oops. Oh, it's even darker. Um. Doggy. What the mystery he is? Probably human. Mm. Uh. What? You're almost out of grapes. Oh my god, I'm tired of looking in these corners and finding nothing. <laughs> and who would possibly want that fungus unless it was for another quest? And we're back. Although you probably wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't said anything. Excuse me. Oh, 
Did it just crash again? No. Oh, is it frozen for you? I can see. You what? I guess so. Oh, okay. Give me just a second. I'm sorry. I'll be right back, guys. And we're back. Well, that's where it came from. Okay, so... Let's open the map. What am I missing? Looks like I haven't gone that way. I haven't gone that way, amazingly. I thought I've been both of those places, but obviously not. So I need to go up. No, I should go this way to go up. Okay, now which way? Um, let's go south. Excuse me, doggy. Excuse me. Flogger dog. Okay. I'll do another perma save. Okay, so I have not been to Spelunkers. That might be interesting. Wait, I've been to that cone. I've seen that cone before. It says I'm exploring a new spot on my map, but I'm almost certainly... No, I've never been down here. Huh! Guess. <laughs> 